Why does it feel so cold inside my heart tonight? Be my man is what she said It's not just the wind that's moving around tonight But quick and clean don't we get right Right, I start of the day for Ant and Ken. Ken's gone over to water the dog, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's just Ant and I at the moment. Uh, freezing out, but Julie's yeah, off. Yeah, we are, and we're standing in a little dam. And the interesting thing about this dam is, when they worked this gully, they had to put their dam in the gully because of the <laughs> fact that it was too hard a job. It's, the gully is bounded by steep sides. So you couldn't build a dam on the side because you had to build a great big wall, it was too hard. Mm. So all they did was whack a wall across the head of the gully. Hmm. But the trouble with that is, once their water was in the gully, they had to run their water race right around the high side of the gully to keep their fall. Mm. And it's only a shallow gully as well, so it's just run along pretty well flat like that. So they've run their race right, right along the top because every time they drop a little bit, uh, the, it's ground they can't make up, so we, if they're dropping too much and they get down to here, they've got no power in the water. Mm. So the fact they run this drain right along the top has done us a favour because on the very leading edge of the gully, they've dug the water race and they've dug through payable ground. So what we're doing this morning, we're going to dig in the water race itself because we've found gold <coughs> here before where they've thrown payable dirt out to build their water race. Yeah and we're going to dig and detect along the bank of the water race. So it's a good spot to be. The other thing I want to say is, it's not, we're not very far from the road, and often when you go to places, you think, oh, I've got to walk right out in the middle of the bush, you know, because you've got to find this buried treasure, this lost gold. <laughs> when you get in, in gold towns and, and, and the bush around the, the gold areas, the tracks are made to go to the diggings. The tracks mm. follow the, the, the diggings. They follow the, where the early miners went. And similar with a lots of the roads, you know, the, the roads between Ballarat and Bendigo and that, a yeah. lot of them are made... They're built for yeah, the Yeah, but by the, the, the diggers exactly. going back and forth. Yep. So <coughs> you don't have to go a long way off the road. And when you are uh, detecting and you, you pull up, often when you step out of the car and when you get away from the blue metal and that, Turn your detector on straight away. I've yeah. said it before, but don't walk in a hundred yards and turn it on. Yeah, it's a lot of blokes. One day with a classic, you got yeah. one. You could you could spit on the road from where <laughs> we were standing. Yep. And it was a busy, we were detecting and cars were driving past, back and forth. Yep. And we, that's how close we were to the road. So, I think Ken just fell, <laughs> <laughs> fell down a shaft. Right, Ken. <laughs> so yeah. So that's the two points from that. Have a look at ground they've sh they've had to use that was payable ground. Yeah. To do to. Uh, build their walls or build their, their water races or whatever, and you don't have to be a long way off the road to find gold. <coughs> All right, mate. Well, yeah, mate. Let's get into up. it. Thumbs up, buddy. Oh, good. <sighs> All right. That's a jumping jack there too, mate. Ooh. See you later. First find of the day, I've just been doing a bit of digging and come across this old black beer glass. Which is... Right. There, see its neck? Yeah. See, and... The beauty of it, we were blessed because Ant was swinging like a mad pole at the, with the <laughs> matic, <laughs> and it was lucky we didn't find a broken. Exactly. Very, so. very nearly could have been. Get that out of the way. I mean, it, it's probably broken, but. Yeah, but it's. Uh, you know. The fact that one of the lads might have been doing a bit of digging, uh, digging this race. And just sat on that log and this both my legs. Come uh, on, I want to see some glass at this end. So this would be interesting. What, what can you see, mate? Anything? No, I think it's broken. Because otherwise there'd be glass here, you know, popping oh, see, out. Yeah. But it's not. Bugger. Oh uh, well. Yeah, it's just a oh, yeah, neck then. Just the neck. A nice stubby one too. Look at look how the neck fells out. Yeah. It's a real nice one. Yep. Oh well. Oh well. Black glass beer. Back to it, mate. Yeah, back to it. Oh, geez, look at all these jumping jacks. Yeah. There's heaps. I think we've uh, disturbed a nest. Oh well. 
Right out. Eh? Onwards. Onwards, mate. Oh, a shout out to Robin Lucas. I was pleased to see Robin Lucas had mentioned, uh, uh, was back in our comments. Yes, thank you, uh, Robin. Uh, Robin's from over around Maribara and she, uh, she was talking about the 6,000 and she's saving for the 6,000, she said. And uh, yep. we, don't know, we don't know her personally, but uh, from her comments, she seems a really nice uh, lady and uh, we, were, we were tickled to see you back in there, Robin. So yes. thanks very much, mate. Cheers, Robin. See ya. All the up. best. Right on, mate. Into it. You know, okay. we're uh, first signal. Done a bit of a uh, bit of raking, bit of clearing, and seven thousand's picked up a little signal here. Yeah, and, and it hasn't been very long either, has it? We've no. been uh, working side by side and having a bit of a chat, but it hasn't been very long. No, it's a uh, record I, time for. Camp. I haven't been. <laughs> I haven't been working <laughs> that hard on. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn's been sitting down, and getting his strength together. Hasn't yeah. even turned the detector on yet. Yeah. I haven't turned mine on either yet, actually. No, I just thought I would because I just moved a bit of stuff. Yeah. At least so we're in don't, area. Go, don't go too, too hard. In an area where uh, we've done a little bit before, so that's why we're a bit more excited than getting the signal. Oh, Kim, we might have to jump in there. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, remember, I'm just the, the beginner here. <laughs> So yeah, man. He's, uh, right. he's, yeah. he's bloody speeding through the apprenticeship, though, Yeah, that's he? right, yeah. Oh, if I'm clearing in the wrong spot, let me know. Yeah. Just remember to get rid of that. Exactly, get rid of that. Once, uh, uh, and once you've uh, final with the gold, then pay the tax on it. That's it. Good ground, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Like, yes. Good ground. And this is what we were talking about. Uh, this is ground that's come from above. They, uh, you can see how he's working on a bit of a slope. This is payable ground that they've left because they've used it to... Getting closer. Yeah, I think that's more where it is. Yeah, I think it's more up back, here. Not, I reckon it's like here. Because here, I think it was getting the, the tail of it. Okay. But yeah, definitely more to the right there. As I said, we're close to the road, and up there there's a walking track. Anyhow, when I was up there, I saw an old lady uh, feeding the crows, which uh, made me wonder how long she'd been dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are out in the wilderness. <laughs> So just let me know when you spot it. Yeah, too oh, right. Don't you worry yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Eagle eyes. Glenn's vision has improved. Last yeah, bloody it has. Yeah, it has. Yep, right there. Underneath that root there sticking out. Right there, I reckon. Okay. Yeah, my, my vision has improved, old buddy. I'll, yep. I'll agree with that. He spotted that one last week before yeah, me. Yeah, I don't know whether it had anything to do with it, but uh, and a lot of people would have had it, but I had an irregular heartbeat and they took, I went to the hospital and uh, and they give you an they knock you out and give you an electric shock and uh, the bloke said it took two goes to work and this is a true story, mm. but I've been jumping out of my skin since then. <laughs> and, uh, I know you wouldn't think it'd be associated with your eyesight, but my eyesight's better as well. Whatever he's done has helped. Yeah, bloody hell. Don't push it too far if you want to keep that. The only thing about it now is that you've, you've kept moving your rubbish to it. Even if you pull him out, you're going to uh, you're going to find him. Yeah, there's one thing I don't do often enough is move my rubbish. Nah. Huh? Yeah, yep. <coughs> well, I don't think you're going to lose it. No, no, yes. But no, it's what wrong. worries me is yeah. it's rubbish now. Oh, yeah. um, I thought you were going to be worried about whether you could carry it. You'd bug it, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you were stuck down here with it. <laughs> we, we'd clear a track for the car, wouldn't we? <laughs> you know, have to cut, in, cut into it. Yeah, 
root there. Oh, that's a big root. That's a root. That one. That's the big one I was I saw. Might have to yeah, get him out. Have to... Just have another quick go before you do, Kenny, uh, with your detector. Yeah. What are you thinking, Glenn? Oh, I, I have my money for just there. I think you're right. Take a little bit more out of there, Kenny, when you're in the mood. called Heath, I was talking to him, he's building some stone walls and uh, his company is Stone Walls Melbourne. Anyhow, he found a spot and he was looking for us to come and uh, he worked it pretty hard and just telling where the gold might have come from, you know, uh, see if we could give him any advice. But it was a bit far from home was the trouble, in, in the winter time especially, it's a bit far from home. Mm. I'm a bit worried about... Oh. Yeah, because I can, I'm a, bit, a little bit worried I can see that. Just there, is that a bit of a rusty... Is um, that rust or dirt? Oh, hopefully it's hopefully dirt. Hopefully it's dirt. Yeah. <laughs> because whatever yeah. is, is out. Yeah, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Start going through that soil, Dad. You're still in the rut. Running. So good on you, Heath. Thanks for the, for the offer. Uh, it was bloody very decent of you. Kenny's got exactly what happens to us. You, you see the yellow. <laughs> so I think, here we go. <laughs> but for some it's reason, not liking you. Use your right hand. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter which hand I use. That's better. You're not a wedding ring man. You no, 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 no. Nothing. Ring. Nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. But. We found even with the five thousand. Oh yeah. I, I just must be just what they call like a golden boy. Oh, I'd say. Isn't that? <laughs> yeah. See now, finding the bugger. When you're in the war. Check, uh, check with your machine. Try and pinpoint it, locate it. So you know. You start from side. Just go like off to one side. Because now you don't know actually where it is, but. See? It sounds kind of right in the centre, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just, just divide the piles and see what that tells us. Okay. Okay. When you're writing your comments, there's two peas in pinpointer. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's going to the bottom. Yep. Can you won't break Ken, uh, uh, Ant's record though last week. <laughs> oh, I hope you won't for 17 minutes. <laughs> okay. That's in there, isn't it? There it is. Bugger. Yeah. I was a little bit worried when I saw that brown mark yeah. up there, yeah. Sort of well, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got the heart rate going for a bit. Well, oh, boys. Back, on, back on your head. Um, whose signal is this? Ange landed one here. Uh, these boys are a team. I've got a separate claim just next next to them. You know. <laughs> so uh, the, the lads, <coughs> since I've had the seven thousand, they put their gold in together, and then they, they're going to split it when they get a, a two ounces in the kitty. That's it. Uh, I could feel my phone vibrating in my pocket, which was doing a good job because it's up in the car, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know whether that was an early warning of a stroke or what. But <laughs> Anyhow, no, boys, so Anne's got a signal here. Oh, yep, it's, it's in this wall here. I've been slowly digging away. And, and it's, it sounds, you know, it's a decent signal. So. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, dig that out. And even though we were, the first three signals we did were all rubbish, it just proved the point that we, what we're doing is work and that sooner or later one, one of these signals will get them turn into something all right. 
Maybe it's this one, Ant. Yeah, I hope so. I'm hoping, thinking, it may be a little kinder surprise. Yeah, I did too. No, Actually, you're the same as me. You, buddy, you no, know, I think we're... Um, had the same lifestyle. Unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't matter how old you are, you like those kinder surprises. Yeah, they are. I don't know. I was going back from Josie's one day and... Anyhow, it was a young kid riding a bike. He was about 14. It was a shit of a bloody day. What can you see, mate? Bugger. No, no, just steal. Just steal. Yeah. Just a rust nugget. And I pulled up and I said, you want a ride, mate? I said, put your bike in the back of the ute and I'll give you a ride. And he had a look at me and he said, no, no, I'll be right. And I didn't press the issue because, <laughs> you know, uh, it's always a bit tricky to load people up that you don't know. Yeah. And I'm always picking up these hikers. So yeah. I said to Joe afterwards, I said, I almost said to him, I've got lollies, which I did, I had lollies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you would have rang that one through. <laughs> right out. Oh, thumbs down. Thumbs down. I was telling Ant to hold off because these little ones take a bit of pinning down, but anyhow, we'll see how we go. <laughs> well, it's still in, so that's a good sign. It is, yeah. Oh, good. Freezing cold this morning, and anyhow, when I got to my place, I picked up a coat out of the shed and put it on. Oh, I've got your coat in the car, by the way. Good work, yeah, <laughs> well. Sorry, you can When I got down to my mother's place uh, to have a bit of breakfast, when I come into the house, I thought, geez, I can smell cat piss, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's had the cat locked in overnight. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Then I went down to Lindell's because Lindell was making my lunch. And I went in there and thought, I can smell catfish. <laughs> <laughs> so then the I realised that. Cat curled up in the jacket? Cat had been in the jacket, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, jeez. I'm lucky I've got a spear on for you. I'm lucky the people around me are so <laughs> accepting. In the hand. Not sure whether it's in the hand or. I oh, don't know. No, it's still there on the right, yep. Push him down a little bit, do I? Yep. In there, I reckon. Yeah, I do too. Yep. Good. Oh. See, I'm getting on the edge. I'm just there. Got him. Yep. Good pinpointing there, Glenn. Thanks, mate. It's actually not a bad little trick with it with yeah. this double do coil. It, yep, it does it very well. Doesn't it's it? very very sensitive. It's on the hand. It's just a bird. Yeah. Can't see anything. No, either. I can't see anything either, which gives you that lead shot feeling. In there, mate. Mm hmm. Colour. Oh. I thought it was that. Yeah, I did too. No, I think it's sad. I think I can see lead. Bugger. Yep. Lead, huh? Lead, yeah. yeah. Here's mate. Another one for the pocket. Yep. Never mind. Oh, well. What do they say when life hand, hands you melons? <laughs> You're probably dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> right on, mate. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. All right, Glenn. Right on, mate. We held off from recording, didn't we? <laughs> said, oh, I'm not going to record yet. Well, we've been hurt, haven't we've we? Been, we have. We've been hurt quite a bit. I reckon we've had about 10 signals, and they've been lead and rust. So we still are goldless at the moment. But um, hopefully Glenn's going to turn it around now. One thing about this, it's a little bit bigger than lead shot. So, uh, fingers crossed. Come on, colour. Oh, there he is, yeah, there he is. is he? Yep. Is that a little tiny bugger? That's a little tiny bugger. Oh, thank God. Well, we've got our first one. We're on. Purely from digging and scraping, Ken has managed to extend his lifestyle because he lives a pretty sedentary lifestyle and he's been <laughs> swinging the pick and digging with the shovel, so. 
Ant was sweating on him, bloody uh, taking an early retirement from life, but now. <laughs> and it actually does that for you too, doesn't it, metal detecting? It bloody uh, gets you out, gets you, yep. makes you physically and mentally healthier and better. <laughs> Yeah, he's in the t-shirt. Look at him now, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. losing a few kilos. Yeah, he's looking good. He... Good job, Glenn. Mr. Australia 1970, he was. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. We're on, we're on. Go our first bit, so we... I've got to have... About your, uh, your oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, have, have a specimen cut. I'll tell you how that come, come about, because... Oh, do we want to know? <laughs> oh, look at those two little fellas. Yeah. Right. When you... Uh, with a harness racing license, you got to have a medical every year. Yeah. And so you've got to take a urine sample or do it there. And I, I used to like to take it, but it seemed the same, saw the same doctor every year and I'd be turned up with a bloody pint bottle or, or something I'd found, a sauce bottle or a little thing this big. And eventually the bloke said, oh, I've, I've had a gut full of this. He said, here, take those bottles. He said, and when you come doing that. <laughs> so I had about 10 and uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a relic from him. Yeah. Right, our first bit of gold. So we've got our first bit of gold, and I'm talking horses. I was jogging a horse a while ago, coming along the creek, uh, and there's two blokes dishing in the creek. One bloke's name was Rod Wilson, and we had a good yarn, and he talked about our videos and said hey. how much he, he liked our videos. And I, I said, lot, Rod Wilson. he does yeah, indeed, and I said, that. I said, I'll mention you next, uh, next video. And that must have been a dozen videos ago, and, and I haven't mentioned him. He's had a few birthdays. Uh, yeah, so, and we said, I said I'd give him a, a tip on harness racing, uh, <laughs> he's yeah, he's still waiting for that. Well, the only tip I've got you is right is don't back anything on driving and you'll be all right. Uh, first bit of gold, thumbs up, Rod Wilson. Cheers, Rod. Good on you, mate. Hello, Ange. Got a little signal here. We've been admiring. There's a few uh, wrens, yellow chested, breasted wrens uh, hovering around uh, picking the grubs out that we've dug out. Mm -hmm. Right, now, mate. What do you got? Alrighty. That's Sounds like. Now, if this was the first signal we dug for the day, we'd be undoing a little canister. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting up into the tens, in the uh, like ten or eleven or twelve signals we've dug without success. Bar one little tiny one that I got, and then just when I thought I was away with my second one, it was a blade shaving off the end of the matic that we're using. Which often when you get somewhere where someone's been dozing, you get a lot of uh, do do slivers of steel off the dozer blade. See colour, mate? I think so. Oh, good work. Yes. Good work. I thought you sort of showed a bit of urgency. Yeah. I could have sworn it was, it's... I saw a little bit of yellow. I think in... One of these. Let's see. Yep. I want it to come into Jeez, the, the sunlight. Are, Where's the sunlight? The blokes that film the table tennis do a good job. There we are, Glenny. Got a bit of gold, mate. Yeah, yeah, a very is. little, little bit. But... Oh, well, it's bloody second bit for the day. There. Yep. When you're ready, mate, give him a little shine up and I'll uh, and get you to bring your hand back out of the sun and we'll. Come over this way, mate, in the shade. We're not too easy for the camera. That's it. There we go. Oh, yeah, he's all it's right. Bad, he's a nice bit of gold. That gives us two and proves our theory. Yeah. The first bit's the bloody hardest yeah, thing to get. That's right. Oh, <laughs> you can relax a bit then. Good well, work, mate. We're on the board. We're, Happy we're days. We're not setting the wheel on fire. There was a lot of hate for the 6,000 uh, <laughs> uh, about the small gold, but you got to play the bloody cards you dealt, and at the moment gold's hard to find. It's never been easy to find, but when I first started, the detectors wouldn't find those, and if we did find them, we'd be just as likely to, to uh, swear about them, and, you know. Uh, and I said one other, I've said one other time, I was out with a bloke once, and we, we'd been getting gold, and I said, you want to go to such and such? And he said, no, nah, the gold's too, too small. small. <laughs> too small down there, the gold, you know. Oh, jeez. So uh, we understand that you, you want to see us dig big stuff and we want to dig big stuff yeah, we, right. and we've brought our beloved 5000s with us as well and, right. and Anne will find a big bit with the 7000 plus I want to go down on the huts where we are there's three or four huts and I love the huts I want to get a relic uh, for our end of the day photo shoot definitely 
Okay. We're back here, still, still in this spot, still digging, and we finally come across a half decent signal. There it is. And it's down in this, what we think is virgin ground, because this, this stuff down here is really hard. This is like really and the, the oh. silver fox has gone off following his nose, so there's a, a big one. Couple of big bull ants around. Yep. Yeah, he's run off. I don't know where Glenn is. Oh. So he's missing out. All fun. We Mind you, we'll probably come back with two or three nuggets. Stay on the ground. Getting closer. Getting closer. He's come up a little bit. And the promising thing here with this one is because the ground's so hard, we're hoping that it's not a bit of lead that's made its way down. Oh. It's less possible, let's put yeah, it this way. I mean, this, this, is so, this is really hard ground. I'll be, if this is lead, I'll be very surprised. See ya. Yeah. Alright. It's in the hand. Not in that hand. In that hand. Okay. Just dropped onto the coil. Now I can see it. What is it, lead? It's gold. Gold? Yep, there it is. And beautiful. Right there. A little bit of gold. Yeah. Is it in focus? Yeah, it's, she's in focus now. Look at that. Beautiful. Second for the day. Yeah. Well, at the moment, that's one to win, two to end. Gemidale! All right, literally, I just got a nugget here in this, in, we're on the base here, surely. I've got another signal in here, right next to it. So we're talking not even 30 centimetres away. No way. It was fainter, yeah, it's getting louder. Here. That's what I was worried about. Fixed too close. Lots of stone and quartz and perfect traps for gold. Still in there. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling it is with my limited experience. Lenses. You always think you spot a bit of yellow. Yep. Oh, let's see if it's out now. That's just That's still shoes. My boots. Hang on. Still in there. Sounds like it's getting louder. Get out there. I almost need a chisel. <laughs> yes. I almost, I need a 
which is not. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So we're not going to retire on it. Is that it in there? Yeah, there it is. Man, still can't see anything. Better not be. Is it gold? Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I can see it. A lot smaller than I thought it'd be, but still, still a little bit of gold. Beautiful. That's two in thirty centimeters. Yep. Took longer to dig to find it. Yeah. But that was a real difficult bit to get out. But it's a nice little reefy bit. Come on, I'll clean it up a bit. There we go. Beautiful. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. There we go, then. <laughs> yeah, no, I just when mate, we thought you meant the blue eddy. No, well, we do have the blue eddy, but we also have our very own little oven out here, plugged in to the DC 12 volt output, and um, we're going to have a very hot lunch. We've got some pies that we're going to put in the oven. Let's get this baby warmed up. Beef and peppercorn. Oh, beef and peppercorn. And chunky soup. What are you having today, Glenn? Oh. See those. Don't worry, mate. We bought some for you oh, too, of course. Bag of, bag of I know you cheer. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Dad got this from one of his mates at work. The oven, did he? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So with all we tested out, take a few pies in there. Good work. Takes about an hour. Good on you, Ken. Um, we'll see. But at this rate, we've got 9.2 hours left. So I think we should be fine. <laughs> yeah, I can see one problem with it. You don't show a bloke a pie and then tell him you can have it in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's definitely not ready yet, Glenn. We've just turned him on. So you lads got a bit of gold? Yep. We've got we to do it. Two little tiny ones, but I did get a coin. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. 
so he can't quite fit one up the top. Oh yeah, so you did you said bugger all, you got three you got two bits of gold from when we well, last yeah, saw you and a coin. Little tiny bastard. <laughs> but, uh, What's this? Well I reckon he's hate me and that's what we're gonna have a competition. Uh, I suspect he's probably an English hate me. I haven't cleaned it off. Yeah. And hasn't cleaned it off and found a day. Nah, not yet. Righto, you're watching this bid. You can only have your guess now. Don't have your guess after we've cleaned it. <laughs> Assuming that's an English halfpenny, it'd be great if it's a little token or something like that. I'm just going on the fact that you can see a copper edge and he looks the size, yeah, of, size of a halfpenny. Yeah, that's hapenny. right. Yep. Uh, no hole, he's not a Chinese coin. Still got a little bit of weight to him, like he's not terribly worn thin. We'll get a date, no worries. So you're in here. This was, there is probably worked up between 1860 and 1870, but that doesn't date the coin because, no. uh, you know, it, it could be 1820 or, or anything like that. It'd be great if he was 200 year old. It's hard to get that. What are you coin. guessing? I'm guessing 1854. 1854. Ken Oath? Ken, you having a guess, mate? Guess the halfpenny. Guess the halfpenny somewhere. Mm, 1858. Right, yeah. I'm going 1872. Right, don't be let in by these boys. Have your own guess. Put it in the, in now, and then when we clean it up, you'll say, "Geez, I'm bloody telling you." <laughs> Did you get three or two? Three. Yeah, our three little bits, Glenn. Oh yeah, good work. Oh, yours are all slightly larger than mine, I reckon. So it'll be the tail of the tape. But uh, we're doing well. We've got six. We've got six, six bits, and point. we're uh, yeah, just about to have lunch. So we're gonna have a bit of lunch. You're gonna clean, and I'll clean this up, and. Uh, and then you'll, you'll be able to see what the date is and what in fact he is. But it was happening when he popped out all the time. Well, yeah, yeah. It's a nice spot we're in. Uh, there's all sorts of birds and little wallabies sitting, yeah. sitting quietly. Uh, I've seen a few. I saw two just sitting down there practically holding hands, hands. And that's one thing about wallabies. They don't get around together unless they're mating. You know, you see a big oh, really? mob of kangaroos. Yeah. Wallabies oh, yeah. are very solitary. Uh, uh, when they when they're mating, they'll or when they'll uh, they'll get around together. You'll see them in twos, or when they have a young and you know you'll see them with the young and. But at this time of year, you see they're getting ready to have the babies in the spring. Though they pretty well have them now. They're like as though they're from bloody they're Westies. They'll have them at any time of the year now. They'll breed up like anything. But uh, yeah. a couple of nice little wallabies, also all manner of birds. Yeah, definitely half penny. Half penny, mate. Yeah. So. Uh, See if I can get a year, but I can definitely see the words half and penny on it. So you're thinking, yeah, English is definitely English. Yeah, I, I guess it had to be English. Right. I couldn't see that it, that it would be a, an Australian one in no. here. I said a couple of times Australian currency started in 1910, and see we may do with English currency and Got tokens and various there, things. And you see penny and half. I don't know whether I can or not. I don't know whether you folk can at home. But have you guess? I still can't make out the date. I don't know if we're going to get a date, Glenn. I will get a date. You're like me, social night. Think I'm not going to get a date, but then sooner or later, <laughs> <laughs> one, <bumps out. laughs> one comes around. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, what did I tell you? What did I say? You said 1858, didn't you? No, he said 1858. Oh, you I said 1870 something. Yes. 1872, I think. It was. It's on tape. It's on tape. That's a bit. I wish we had a tape in our house at times when Jason and I are chatting. Because it's 1870 something. All right, perfect. So if you're at home and you guessed in the 1870s, you're still in the race. 1875. 1875. 1875. Well, that's a relief because so I thought 1870, Ant and yeah, you can just make out the five. I can clean up a bit more. I thought Ant was going to be spot on. What a bastard that would have been, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's closer you two. You were indeed, yeah. You, you were, were indeed. 50s, but someone at home in the comments is going to say, yeah, yeah. oh, he's bloody said 1875. Yeah. 1875. Yeah, right out. <laughs> How's that? <one? laughs> Look at that. Now, people were saying, oh, you know, price gold and things like that. And I understand it too, and that's how I would have liked it. But imagine you're out detecting, you're having your lunch, and that's your morning's work. It's not the end of the world. It's a lot better. And the bloke that said, he's 5,000, hoover those up. I reckon you'd be bloody struggling, mate, because there's been a thousand detectors through here, and none of them have hoovered them up. Yeah, so, uh, that's very true. I'd, I'd like to see you have a crack. Yep. Righto. Oh. I sound bitter, and I'm <laughs> <old> <laughs> Well, we've got to do some more detecting and digging before we hoof into these. We've got about an hour to wait. Yeah. But um, that's all right. We're not in any rush. I'll tie myself over with some cake and chocolate. Yep, that's it. I'm going to have a spell. Are you going to have a spell? 
Spell? Like, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Get back into it, son. No, <laughs> like a cup of coffee in there. Oh, maybe. All right, we're doing some more scraping away, and Ken Oath has come onto a nice little signal here. Just listen. Beautiful, look at that. And you can kind of see right there, that line there, there was a tree, tree branch been there for years, and we moved that out the way, and obviously now we've got this nice little signal. So, let's see what we can come up with. It's a good looking pick you got there, Ken. It's never let me down. <laughs> Shout out to Stumpy. My yeah. dad bought himself a, this is the 750. Which I prefer much better, 100 mil longer, world of difference so much easier on your back yeah yeah they are i think next time i'll get the 751 as well 600 don't get me wrong love the 600 but it is a bit easier to dig with the 7 750 all right she's out come on make some noise or is it still up over that yeah in there to the right all right lost him That was a big signal, it kind of just disappeared. We'll find it. There we go. Yep, we're on, Glenn, we're on. Come, mate, come. It's out. All right. Let him settle, settle, settle. All right. Underneath the log, yeah. you can still see the um, the log thing. Yeah, the mark. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll get this for you. Slow down. Can you surprise? Is it in there? Yeah, perfect. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Yep. Probably even break it up in your hands, maybe. Well, we know it's in there. So, break him up. Where are you going with that detector? Yeah, I'm hoping we're going to be able to see it. No, fair enough. <laughs> I had to keep my head back because I've got a steel plate in my head, but I'm going <laughs> <laughs> to... Okay, maybe we have to turn this detector back on. Maybe we get a bit too excited. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. Yeah. Keep your hands still, Kenny. Right, now that's your goal, and this is my goal. <laughs> there we go. Turn your detector it, on. It's mate. on, it's on, yep. Yeah. It's just go loaded on, up. See if you've got yeah. it in your hands. Yeah. You reckon you've seen it? You got him? I reckon it's that. No. That's just a. That's nothing. Run over, no. over your coil and see where she's we just, are. She's just warming up. Come on, girls, put it over. It's the warming up, Glenn. Oh, it's what's it got to cool? It takes a while, yeah. 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 There we go. Now oh, it's on. Right. Oh, it's a big day for me. <laughs> you reckon? No, I reckon it's in oh, Ken's yeah. hand. Oh yeah, it is too. I thought it was just. Okay. Steel <laughs> Went on, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, I tell you. Yeah. I was going to think about getting it. Yeah, it's around there. The bloke that was going to break it up and let us see it, he was optimistic. Well, I was very optimistic. <laughs> so, I think it might have been your glass, to be quite honest. Glasses, you had a metal in, yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I'm hoping between the three of us we can find it. <laughs> We've made some clever editing in that. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Give me the phone, mate, and you have a little crack at it. I'm wondering if it's on the coil now, to be quite honest. Because, like, when it, when it was out before, it seemed like a decent signal, didn't it? Like, when, when it was in the Kinder Surprise. Yeah. Just track the, the coil around and have a little look. That was just yeah. too close? Yeah, the battery. Alright. They're treacherous, those little ones, aren't they? Yep. Oh, you little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Tip the dirt that's on top of your coil off, Kenny, just in case he's riding there, that's it. Can't be far away. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little fella. There we are. It's thrown out. Up the top. It must be bloody. Well, you know what then? I reckon that was the bit I had in my hand. You know when oh, yeah. uh, uh, yep. we yep. split 50, the dirt? Because that's where I flicked that bit. Yeah, it's cold in the shade if you're not working. I'm gonna get there, so. Let's bring it down here. There. Got him? Yep. He's cold. bloody small, all right. <laughs> he's, <laughs> since we were splitting him up, he's shrunk a bit. <laughs> I reckon I had him in my hand, you know, when I put the dirt back. You know, when I said I reckon I've got him in my, my half. Possible. When, we, when we flipped yeah. it. Yeah, when I, because, oh well, it takes us to four. To, to, yeah, take your second moment. There he is. Yep, another yeah. little bit. Right, mate. Turn it off. I want to show you this heart.